Hi, this is Paul. I wanted to make a quick video about uh, uh, why it's imperative, okay, in my opinion, that you know, that we make sure Trump is a one-term president. Because ever since his acquittal, he's been even more reckless. He feels unbound. He knows that the Republican Party have no voice, and they will not, you know, they will cow down to him, and they won't won't say anything. He can pretty much do what he wants, okay. And a perfect example of this was this week when William Barr investigator after Trump tweeted that uh, Roger Stone, his crony, uh, was getting too harsh a sentence, that it was a, it was unfair. And then several hours later, uh, the Justice Department says that uh, they're going to take a look, re review that, uh, that sentence recommendation and lower it. And of course, the four veteran prosecutors on that case who recommended that resigned in protest because you know, they felt that, you know, this is what we, we prosecuted the case we won, and this is what we recommended. But William Barr stepped in again to protect the president, okay, and did this. And then, of course, uh, William Barr, when all the criticisms came, he, he kind of did an interview with ABC to cover his behind and say, listen, uh, Trump uh, shouldn't be tweeting this because it, makes, makes me, it interferes with me doing my job. But a lot of people don't believe it. That's him just covering his, his behind because he knows it looks really bad when the president tweets that his sentence was unfair. And then late, so, you know, several hours later, the Justice Department announces that they re, they're going to ask for a reduction of his sentence. Okay? Let's face it. William Barr is bought and paid for. And also we found out later that he's also looking to review the uh, uh, Michael Flynn uh, uh, sentence as well. Another guy that got convicted. Okay? And again, he's just doing more of Trump's uh, dirty work. Uh, he's just making a mockery of the justice system and the Department of Justice. And William Barr definitely needs to resign because he's absolutely a disgrace and he's basically covering the presence behind doing all this illegal stuff and he's making it he's literally making the, a mockery of the uh, a mockery of the, of the Department of Justice and our American way of, of, of justice and it's a real shame that it's going on because like I said the Republicans have no spine they're cowards and they let Trump pretty much do what he wants okay and that's why it's imperative that we get him out of here and if Democrats need to get their act together and Okay, if Bernie wins the nomination, support him and shut up. Okay, stop whining about Bernie. If he gets the most votes, okay, and wins the nomination, support him and stop whining. Okay, they're trying to, they're fighting against each other. And if they keep this going up the way it is, James Carlyle's on TV whining about Bernie, all these other Democrats are on TV whining about Bernie. If Bernie gets the most votes and stuff and support, support him and stop whining. The most important goal is to get Trump out of this White House. To stop him from his his mad because he's unbound right now. He feels he can do pretty much anything he wants, and because he knows the Republican Party ain't gonna do anything to back him. If they do, he'll t this scream. He'll tweet at them and they'll back down. Okay, and and Democrats have no voice in the Senate. They can't really do anything. Okay, they can investigate stuff from the House side, but they can't do anything on the Senate side. And they really, really need to get him out of because he's just really the, the effects, the damage he's doing to this. Democracy is, is is going to be felt for for years on end, and history is not going to look kind on this Republican Party. They're going to say they were a bunch of cowards and sycophants, and William Barr was probably the worst uh, attorney general in the history of this country. Just absolutely horrible and disgraceful the way he's doing this in the open. He was trying to give the president cover. To t basically, he's trying to tell the president. When I t and, and we know it's, it was like coordinated because Trump. Once he said that thing about Trump, uh, saying that Trump need to stop tweeting. Trump didn't hey, hit back at him, so you know that was a coordinated attack. He knew perfectly well what, what William Barr was going to say in that interview. I guarantee he knew what he was going to say word for word. He may even wrote it for him just to you know give time to give them cover. But it's it's blatantly obvious what they're doing to this democracy, and it's a damn shame. And we have to make sure that Trump is a one-term president. So get out there and vote blue just to make sure this idiot doesn't get reelected. Because I oh that would be the absolute worst thing to happen if he's because he's doing lasting damage system democracy and we really need to get him out and that's my honest opinion about that let me know how you feel down below and this is paul saying so long take care